Tonight's primary election certainly tested former President Trump's drip on the G grip on the GOP. Trump's endorsement record continues to be undefeated after two big wins in Mountain State. And after tonight's win in the West Virginia Congressional 2nd District, the Trump train continues to roll through with Representative Alex Mooney on board. Thank you for joining us for 7 News at 10. I'm Steve Moore. And I'm Catherine Guyon. Trump endorsed Republican incumbent Alex Mooney, who beat Republican incumbent David McKinley. Congressman Mooney has been declared tonight's winner. And 7 News reporter Rebecca Little joins us now live in the studio with more on this hotly contested race that put the two politicians in the same congressional district due to redistricting. Rebecca. Catherine, the former president had sort of a perfect record heading into the West Virginia primary with his endorsements, and tonight he won, and so did the man he endorsed, Alex Mooney. McKinley also received some noteworthy endorsements from Governor Jim Justice and even Democratic Senator Joe Manchin, who reached across the aisle to endorse him, calling McKinley a, quote, true West Virginian. But Trump's endorsement of Mooney would have some say to have sealed the deal. It is interesting to note that out of Trump's 140 endorsements, Trump started 21-0 in Texas on March 1st, with one race heading to a runoff with George P. Bush and Ken Paxton. Paxton was endorsed by Trump. And on May 3rd in Ohio, Trump swept the board on his endorsements going 14-0. The Trump train continued on May 3rd, with Trump winning 6-0 in the Indiana primary. Trump has been a favorite in West Virginia in both the 2010 and 2016 elections, he received over 68% of the vote, the second most of any state besides Wyoming. Another big winner for the Trump train was Carol Miller, who was running in the U.S. House District 1. She has been declared the big winner, with both Mooney and Miller winning in West Virginia. This solidifies that Trump's endorsement still has weight with Trumpsters even without Trump in office. Reporting live in the 7 News studio, I'm Rebecca Little, working for you.